everybody, so new review for you guys there. So the upcoming Netflix film, the third installment in the To All The Boys trilogy, To All The Boys Always and Forever. So if I'm being honest, I was a little bit late to the whole To All The Boys bandwagon. I didn't watch the first two films until a couple months ago, but once I did sit down and watch them, I had a lot of fun with this universe so far. So I was genuinely actually looking forward to watching this final part in this trilogy and seeing where these characters end up in it. In this installment, Laura Jean's senior year of high school takes center stage as she returns home from a family trip to Korea and she has to consider her college plans with and without Peter. It's bittersweet seeing this story come to a close because I have grown attached to these characters to the point where I almost feel like I'm graduating along with them with this final installment. With this being the final chapter in the story, I do think they did a really great job tying everything together and giving us a satisfying conclusion to these films. Of the three to all the boys films, this storyline does seem to be the most mature and grounded of the three, taking us on this exploration of senior year with Lara Jean as she's figuring out her future and just having to grow up in general and all the stuff that involves Peter and whether or not Peter's going to be involved in her future or not and just the trials and tribulations when it comes to relationships outside of a high school setting. And because of that I've actually enjoyed the gradual evolution of Lara Jean and Peter's relationship as it's matured throughout the three films starting out as kind of a joke in the beginning and then they have the love triangle in the sequel and now we actually have to find out whether or not they're actually going to end up together in the end. One of the big highlights of this film just like it was in the previous two films is Lana Condor and Noah Centineo. They have such great chemistry and it carries over into this film as well. You really can't help but smile at the cute moments they have with one another throughout the film, whether they're exploring different locations together, going on dates. It really does warm your heart. I can't deny that this is like one of the perfect films to watch around Valentine's Day, which is why it makes sense that Netflix is releasing it once again around Valentine's Day. That's not to say that there aren't serious moments as well, as Lara Jean and Peter have many serious moments throughout the film debating on whether or not it's really worth it when it comes to the distance between them when they go off to college as certain things unfold throughout the film. You really aren't really sure if they're actually going to get together in the end because of the circumstances. Out of the three films, this is the longest one, which makes sense because it's the conclusion, so you want to wrap everything up and give a nice finale to it all. I suppose one of my only gripes with the film is the fact that it does feel like it loses its steam a little bit in the middle of the film, around the second act or so, because the stakes of the film are quite high when it comes to the tension between Lara Jean and Peter, but for a long portion of the film, it doesn't really feel like it's going anywhere. They kind of are just trotting along at a very slow pace. And of course, I haven't read the books these are based on, but there are some sort of side stories or side characters that I really feel like could have been cut out of the film and it wouldn't really have changed the overall aspects of what we saw unfold. I do know they filmed this back to back with P.S. I Still Love You. I do feel like that film had a little bit more energy to it, but that doesn't say I didn't have fun with the film as well because I still was engaged watching this finale unfold in Always and Forever. No spoilers, of course, but I did actually really love the way that this film concluded. It was a really nice, heartwarming, leave a smile on your face kind of ending, and it was a nice way that they kind of tied it into the first two films in the series. It felt like a really nice, natural conclusion to what we would expect to come from the original film. Those have just been my thoughts on To All the Boys, Always and Forever. It comes out on February 12th on Netflix, so I'm really excited to see what you guys think of the final chapter in the To All the Boys films. I think you're going to like it, especially if you're a fan of the first two films. I don't know where I would rank them, though, just because I do really enjoy all three movies in this trilogy, but I think that the first one is still the best, and I'm really teetering on whether I like this one more or the second one, P.S. I Still Love You. I think that, I know, I don't know, I feel bad kind of saying this one might be the weakest story-wise because I had more fun with, you know, of course, the stuff with Jordan Fisher and P.S. I Still Love You, but I still think they're both really good, solid sequels. Once you see the film, though, leave a comment in the comment section down below. What did you think of the film, whether you liked it, you disliked it, and also, just because I'm curious, how would you rank the films in the franchise between To All the Boys I Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You, and also Always and Forever? Which is your favorite of the three, and which is your least favorite of the three? I think a lot of people think the original film is the best at least that's personally how I feel and a lot of people I know feel but these last two sequels I feel like they're a little bit more divisive in that sense some people will probably like the second one more and some will probably like this one a little bit more but either way I'd love to know all your thoughts down below thank you as always for talking about reviews though I really do appreciate it while you're there make sure you like it the subscribe button it will keep the movie reviews chiller actions unboxings and more on the channel but until next time I'll see you guys later